Okay, so let's uh, let's get our three pillars in. We want to start with that. First of all, plugging into the big G and getting coherent, and then uh, releasing the impediments to the chi flow by unkinking the hose. So feel the balls of your feet, unlock the knees, allow your weight to settle over the balls of the feet. Still spreading it throughout the foot, you're still feeling the heel on the floor, you're feeling the toes pressing down, but it's the, there's no tension in the foot. It's very relaxed, it's kind of spreading out. You're feeling through the foot and into the earth. Now reach with the crown of the head. And tuck in the chin. So you're pulling up with the with the crown. So there's a reach there. So it's it's not you're not pushing the head up. It's almost like you have you have your hand up there and it's kind of pulling your head up. So you're leading rather than pushing. So there's, there's no muscular tension in the neck by doing that. You're just extending. And so we keep an awareness of the balls of the feet and the crown of the head simultaneously. And just by doing that, just by that, holding those poles in opposition, dividing the attention like that, we begin the process of creating a super conscious state, body, mind, spirit integration. It's that simple. We also generate an energy flow just by holding those poles in opposition. Because the crown of your head is a very young pole. The balls of the feet, the feet are, it's a very yin pole. So we act kind of like a, uh, like a battery. And there's energy flow happening there. And by reaching with the crown, tucking in the chin, we lengthen the neck and open up the space below the uh, below the skull there and, and back the the uh, um, what do you call that the occiput the the occipital ridge at the base of the skull and back we open that and so you're going to feel some lengthening there as the muscles are being asked to do something which they don't ordinarily do. Ordinarily, they, they are asked to contract and lift your chin and, and tilt your head up. But we're saying we're going to go the other way. And just to get that feeling of the, um, of the jade pillow gate opening that, just reach up and lift your chin. So notice how you're contracting the muscles at the back of your, your neck. Now reverse that and reach down with your chin, pivoting at the topmost vertebra. Feel the stretch there as you're, you do that. Now lift up and reach down, pivoting from the jade pillow gate. One more time, lift up. Reach down. And then come back to center and feel that nice, even, quiet space between those two, extend those two extremes. Relax your shoulders. Relax your lower back. 
reach, relax your sacrum, allow that to drop. Reach out with your elbows. And by doing that, you unkink the hose of the shoulders. So we've unkinked the jade pillow gate. We've unkinked the shoulders by reaching out with the elbows. The third major spot is at the quad, your hip joints. So push away from the earth and then relax, sink and spiral down and turn. And let's get that feeling of releasing, sinking down with the, uh, with the whole body. Feel yourself getting sung. You're releasing down into the support of your legs. Point your index fingers. Feel them. And feel into your hands and feel the chi that's circulating there now. You're establishing a whole body energetic connection. Just feel that you have a sense of fullness throughout the whole body mind. Now feel the, the ball of the left foot and trace in your mind the liver chi as it rises up from the foot up through your body and then down the right side and down through the right foot. Just feeling that like a big oval. This is the path of the liver gallbladder energy. You want to also feel the connection between your navel and your genitals. Feel that, feel both those points from the inside, from inside your body. That establishes your center. And around this, we've got this big oval which feel it in your body and then also feel it expand around your body. So you're not limited to the energy just running through your meridians, but you're feeling it throughout the, throughout the whole system and into the radiant field that extends beyond your body. Now let that go. It's something you don't have to do. You, once you become aware of it, the body mind gets the feeling of it, then it takes care of it. The chi takes care of the, its own path at this point. You've established your preference. Now you say, okay, let that go. Let it do its thing. What I'd like to do is to now uh, go through two simple Taiji Tran moves. We're gonna really simplify it for our, our purposes here. And I'm gonna walk you through it and turn my body this way. Okay, so right foot's forward. And bring your right arm in front of your chest. 
So here we're going to establish our three pillars in this posture as well. You feel the balls of the feet, reach for the crown, open the jade pillow gate, tuck in the chin, reach for the elbows and open the shoulder joints. Push away from the earth and uh, spiral down and really feel Sung Kwa. Bring your right hand in front of your chest. Your arm is curved. Bring your left hand and then faces the right hand. So the palm faces the palm. Your weight's about 70% in your right leg. So to mobilize the chi, we've already established that we've got some chi going. We got a comfortable amount that's beyond the norm. And I'm gonna feel the ball of the right foot and set the right knee. So the right knee is not gonna move and turn slightly. And as you turn, you reach with both elbows very slightly. And then reach out with your right hand. And feel that extension. Feel the connection from all the way from the fingertips through the body to the feet. Now feel the ball of the left foot. Set the left knee. So that's our, we're mobilizing the chi by feeling that. You're feeling the hands, feeling the crown of your head, feeling your feet. And now turn. Reaching out, feeling, but also consciously doing. Reaching out, feel your fingers. Feel your shoulder joints opening. Reach with your elbows. Everything's very, very relaxed. And feel the chi coursing through your, through your arms, into your hands. Feel the chi connection with the earth. Now feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee. And Release and spiral down to the left a little bit. So you're releasing into that left claw. Now feel the ball of the right foot. Set the right knee and spiral down to the left. So feel into that. So here we're, we're mobilizing the chi. Now we're going to do. First mobilize, then do. We turn. Reach with the left hands. We're just going back to the ward off posture again. So there's a gap between the hands. We're just gonna repeat that. Feel the ball of the left, set the left knee. Release, spiraling down to the right as you turn and feel your arms reaching out. Very, the least amount of effort that you can muster to Adopt that shape. Check into your body. Feel yourself reaching with the crown of your head, tucking in the chin, opening the jade pillow gate. Feel your weight, primarily in your right leg, but you're also connecting up through the back leg too, through your left leg. Because now we're going to feel the ball of the left foot and set the left knee, and we're going to start to spiral down to the right. So you're loading up that left quad. So you're sitting down at the left leg, spiraling down to the right and still reaching out with the hands. Feel this chi mobilization and turn. You'll notice the parts of the body that get tense when you do that. You may notice it in your back your shoulders and your arms. And that's okay, because you're bringing your awareness to the kinks in the hose. If 
Feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, and spiral down to the left. You're sitting down that left leg and reaching up with the wrists. Feel that. Feel that potentiality that's building up in the in the, the body mind. Feel the chi that's that's looking for a way to express itself. And now we're going to feel the ball of the right foot, push the right knee forward, set that. Let's start to release down to the left. You're starting to load up that right claw. Mobilizing the chi and turn. Hands come down. Pivot on your right heel. And you're going to turn the other way. And we're going to do it on the left side now. Same idea. Motions are really soft. And this is where you start to notice where you're holding your tension. And it's a gradual process of untangling your connective tissue system because it's built up a lot of these little points of stagnation over the years. But just by nibbling away at it, we start to reorganize the body mind. So left elbow, left wrist, right hand faces the left. So now you're going to feel the ball of the left foot. Set the left knee. And spiral down to the left with the, with the claw. You're releasing down. You're sitting down and turning, reaching out with the left hand. Very soft, the least amount of effort you can imagine. Now feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, and spiral down to the left. And turn. Reaching with the hands. Relax and feel into that. Feel, feel the chi. Notice that feels a little different on this side than it did on the other side. That's okay because that's, it's different. So now feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee. Actually, no, feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, and sprawl down to the right, reach up with the wrists. So you're settling down into the right quad. You're loading up, you're mobilizing your chi. Feel that chi. And it's different. It's a, you know, you're feeling the yin chi mobilizing in the system. Feel the ball of the left foot, push the left knee forward, set that, spiral down to, down to the right. So you're loading up that left leg, feeling the support there. Mobilize the chi, reach with your elbows, reach with the crown. Be very patient with that and just say, like, say, okay, I can, how much can I mobilize? It's like the archer pulling back the bowstring, waiting for that exact right moment to let go. And then turn. Reaching out with the left arm curved in front of your chest, reach with your left elbow, your right elbow. Feel the ball of the left foot, set the left knee, and spiral down to the left. Turn, reach. Feel the ball of the right foot, set the right knee, spiral left. Mobilizing the chi. And turn. Reaching. A 
right ball, set the right knee, sprawl down to the right, reach up with the hands. Mobilizing the chi. Left ball, set the left knee, spiral down to the right. Loading up. Feel, reach with that, both elbows. The arms are relaxed. Notice how relaxed my wrists are. Nothing's happening there. This is very yin. This is the loading process. And then turn and reach. Feel first, then do. Feel the chi in your hands. Feel the energy throughout your body mind. Hands come down. Pivot. Step in. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, disappear the cheese. 